Hey everyone, this is Derek with OPTP. This week on Try This with Bob and Brad, the guys are gonna focus on the knees. They've got three great solutions for taking care of common forms of knee pain and stiffness. Enjoy. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about knee pain, uh, three different things you should try. And uh, we're going to go over three different products, really, that may help you. Uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to buy these, but we'll give you some other options, maybe. Uh, but let's start off. Let's, the first thing I, I really recommend when you have knee pain is you want to get some form of movement. Uh, consistent movement right. without weight bearing. So walking is fine, but you're weight bearing with walking. Running is fine, but you're weight bearing with walking. Right. So we're going to recommend trying to get the leg moving. All right. And the only thing, you know, if you're watching this and you just had some trauma to your knee, like you fell on it really hard, and then maybe you, you need to wait before you get it moving. But we're talking about yeah. If you have a fracture, you get it all away. <laughs> but even really in that type of injury, Brad, you really want to get it moving as soon as you can. Sure. The right. more you get blood flow to it, the more it's going to heal. You know, you can simply do these. Yep. Some simple. Yeah. Non-weight bearing, non-aggressive. Yep. Get it moving. But we have the knee glide and the fit glide. The knee glide is a little more geared towards one leg, obviously, mm -hmm. and it's really geared maybe towards. Like if you had a knee replacement, sure, right, because um, you got to get the knee moving after that. So it's just one sided. The, the advantage of like the knee glide and the fit glide is that one, you can go flat, you can go on stand forward, on the stand reverse. But one of the big advantages is you can do it in bed. And we'll show that. We'll show it now. Right. Yeah, and I think I want to mention too, Bob. You mentioned using it after surgery, but if you know you can have a knee replacement, it's wonderful to use it before surgery to prepare yourself. Absolutely. Prehab, we call that. Right. Do you mind getting off the bed, Brad? Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm ahead. Sorry, I didn't. And mean maybe set up one for me. Hampering progress here. Well, uh, would you set one up for me now? <laughs> oh, yes, Bob. So uh, we'll pretend this is a bed right? as opposed to a plant. I'm going to put it on like this. Okay. And this is something you cannot do in bed unless you have the knee glide. You can't slide your heel very easily. Yeah, it's Especially difficult. Especially if you have a painful knee. gets hung up on the sheets. Yeah. and uh, Even if you have someone assisting you, it's much easier for the yes. person assisting because you have to lift up the leg, clear the heel from the bed and lift, and it's, it's hard on your Now, back. you can uh, use a towel on there if you don't want shoes in the bed. <laughs> uh, right. I mean, you can put your heel directly on there, but it's a lot more comfortable if you fold up a towel. Brad, would you mind put, putting a towel in there once just to sure, so show? Sure. It doesn't take much. You certainly don't want a big, thick towel, even just a hand towel, yeah. just to get a little cushion in there. So that's going to be a lot more comfortable on the heel so it doesn't break down. Yeah, exactly. But we're going to also show the thick glide here. Sure. This one works very right well, too, if you have both legs giving you trouble. And to keep both legs in good shape. Yeah. So it's exact same thing, but it's for two feet. And it's obviously built as one unit. Well, you can find myself here. Mm -hmm. And again, you can... Go, re, you know, alternating then. Right. And the nice thing, a lot of times people with a knee replacement, if one knee needs to be replaced, right. oftentimes the other one is arthritic too. and It's, it's on its way probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, again, if you're just having plain old knee pain, especially uh, arthritis, it's a great thing to get the knee moving. You get more synovial fluid mm -hmm. production. Uh, which is kind of the oil of the knee. Right. And that'll keep that joint lubricated. You can get more blood flow. You're going to help with swelling. It's just all those good things. Right. And it's active. So it works those muscles, the hamstrings and quads, and helps keep those, uh, you know, strong as well. So you can do it in a seated position also. And that's, uh, uh, we should mention too, Brad, these are really lightweight. Right. Um, so if you are elderly, you can just pick it up with one finger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, this one weighs five pounds. Five this is pounds. About three pounds. They're uh, made to move around, you know. Right. 
So Brad and I both have the stand up in the front now, so that's working the quadricep a little more. So you can actually put a uh, leg weight on your uh, heel cuff. What am I trying to say? A cuff weight on your heel, on your ankle. Ankle and, uh, weight, yeah. Yeah, ankle weight. <laughs> I'll get to it yet. But that'll actually provide a little resistance. Right. And then if you want to work hamstring more, flip it around. And this one is surprisingly a little bit difficult, isn't it, Brad, after a while? It is, even with a completely healthy leg, and I work it this way. And without weight. Right. Even. After a couple minutes, I can feel those hamstrings warming up, and they actually start to burn. So if you're a sedentary person or haven't done it, uh, you probably will not want to start there. You'll want to start with it flat. All right, it. Brad, let's move on to the uh, book here. We've done a lot of videos based on Robin McKenzie uh, and his techniques of treating your own knee. Right. And uh, this just really summarizes it. It's it's written for the layperson. Right. It's like $10. It, they, uh, what is it? Only 50 some pages? No, I'm wrong. 88 pages. And uh, it'll, you know, it'll lay it right out for you. Right. What Ro you should do. Robin McKenzie is a therapist. He's been around for, well, he's passed away now, but his whole uh, philosophy for therapy was to educate the patient to take care of themselves so that they can. They take ownership of it. Right. Yeah. And you have much better success typically when you understand the symptom and you can self treat. Right. So uh, if you go to our channel, Bob and Brad, you'll f which you may be on right now, you, you'll find uh, that we have a lot of videos on this, and right. you could start with that. Mm. But this just provides a really good summary. Right. Mm -hmm. So, all right. The last product we're going to talk about is surprising to a lot of people. But when you have a knee pain, you want to actually make sure the muscles around the knee are loosened up really well Correct. And, and supple. And so one great thing to use is a foam roller. And uh, there's been a little bit of a shortage of foam rollers in some, uh, in some retail sites. So, so this one is available on OPTP. Okay. Um, but it's the access roller. It's a little bit firmer, isn't it? Right, it's not the, the black one is the firmest. This yeah. one's kind of a... Uh, gives a little bit. Yeah, it gives a little bit. Uh, it's six inches in diameter, 36 inches long. Uh, they have some of that are different lengths, but. Uh, and these are less expensive, generally. Than what? Than like the really rubber ones. And oh, stuff like yeah, that. right. Then, yeah, the yeah. softer ones that are right. more cushy. I like the softer ones for, for like my back and things like that. Sure. For these muscles, probably. Yeah, a little you, bigger, can get, you can get aggressive, aggressive. with these. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to hit the quadricep, hamstring, and calf, because sure. all those muscles cross the knee. Yep. So you want to show the... Yeah, are we going to do it up on, sure. on here? Okay. Typically, you don't want to use this on a bed. Uh, it's yeah. soft. You can try it, and if you've got a firm bed, it may work. Uh, but on a carpeted floor, it rolls a little easier. So like Bob is talking about, you know, you're working the calf, calf muscles. muscles. Uh, we want to keep those from getting tight, which... Uh, typically, you know, uncommon for those to be tight. And you can work it like this. I'm, I'm doing both legs at the same time. I'm putting my hands down on the floor. Lifting his butt up. Yep, a little bit. And just roll back and forth. The more weight you put on it, the more aggressive. You know, if you're doing this and you get used to it and you want to get more aggressive, you can cross. So now my right leg is getting much more pressure. This changes it. I mean, this really adds yeah. a lot of pressure to it. And you may want to rotate your toe out, and that gets the side muscles, the lateral muscles, if you will, yep. on the side. Uh, you're Very work good, that. good you idea to do it. Turn your toes this way. You want to do hamstring, and I could do uh, sure. the quadricep yep. then. And then it is nice just to roll right up to here. You might as well uh, finish that. And you may work that for a minute or two up to five minutes, depending on what you'd like to What's do. What's nice about it is um, that you can do these fairly quickly because right. you can do both at the same time unless you're trying to focus on a painful area. Right. It is important with the hamstrings uh, that you do – you can work it around the knee. That's what we're working. But we still want to get yeah, in the belly. all the way through it. And all the way up to the ischial tube or that sit bone, the, the butt there, because uh, oftentimes it's tight up there. Yes. And you just want to get that muscle to relax so that it helps with the knee. You just want to help off that. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I just saw two recent friends who had knee pain. Sure. And both of them had really tight quads. Sure. 
So I'm having them stretch their quads, but this is actually better even to stretch them because you can hit the tender spots into the quad as opposed to just stretching the whole quad. Sure. Now I'm lifting up here. Now you can actually cross over like this and hit one quad this way too. So now his left quad is getting the, the more aggressive. The brunt of it. Yep, pretty much so all of it. I do this every morning, so I'm I'm pretty well right. first. It doesn't give me too much pain. Do you do yours on the floor, I'm assuming? I do mine on the floor, yeah, yes. And I actually have a really aggressive foam roll. Oh, yeah, you got the one with bumps on bumps it. Bumps on yeah. it, yeah, <laughs> bumps and really hard. And but, so. you know, and you do it, and you've been doing it for a while. So right. you, after you learn how to use it and your body adapts to it, that's when you may want to go aggressive. No, when I started, I had to use something like this. Right. Mm -hmm. So. All right, that's it. Give those things a try, and we'll see if we can knock your pain, knee pain down. That's right. Keep those muscles loose.